Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah, all the praises, all the honor, all the glory be unto our Heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shah, in the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles, our elders at Great Millstone that taught us his truth and who are ruling well. Peace and love, say, taste and mercy be unto you, hopeful like Akim, that our prophets and teachers through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that are set up to push this truth and to the rest of you believers that make up the rest of the hopeful elect who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh believing in this truth and waiting patiently for these last and final prophecies to happen in the earth and the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, peace be unto you and Shalom. There's a major prophecy that's taking place and that major prophecy is the implementation of the MOTB system. They're starting first you know, with the CBDC system, which is a central bank digital currency, in which they're doing trial runs, or they have a um, a test that's going on right now, and this is a simulated test, basically to see if they'll be able to successfully run our the CBDC system, all right, which um. All of these things that they're doing, uh, they have deadlines that they like to do them by, but they already had premeditated and planned this out. And really it's because the Heavenly Father controls the course of the world's events, and this is what he wants. Uh, he wants them to develop uh, this system, which eventually the CBDC system is gonna be tied to the MOTB system with the brain implant, all right, as well as the RFID implant, according to biblical prophecy, as it is written, when you go into the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, all right, it speaks about a new economic system that's going to be implemented, all right, and that new system will hinder you from being able to buy It'll hinder you from being able to sell and hinder you from being able to be a merchant. And it will also hinder you from being able to be a consumer. All right. Unless you get on board with uh, uh, compliance, you know, and you consent unto receiving this man's carnal mark. Now, in doing so, it gives them a greater level of control. It gives them a greater level of, you know, dominance, you know, in that sense, all right, over the people that they look at as being sheep, as they look at as being cattle, as they look at as being goyim. You know, there was an article that I seen and I, I should have saved it, but it was speaking about Trudeau. And Trudeau is uh, the president of uh, Canada. And I believe his name is Justin Trudeau. And he was saying that he doesn't feel bad about shutting off, you know, protesters ability to gain access to their money in the midst of them protesting against Canada and rising up in an insurrection against Canada. But basically, that's what's going to happen everywhere, which there was another article of uh, Canada telling you know, China not to use violence, not to use violence. But when you're playing around with somebody's money, uh, eventually that's what's going to happen. People are going to rise up against you. But not only playing around with their money, playing around with their livelihoods, putting them on lockdowns. All right, this is what's going to happen. All right, there will be chaos. But Esau is hoping that in his regard, that there will be order out of chaos. Now, ultimately, they want to get to the point where they can just shut you down. All right, through turning off uh, and shutting you out, you know, from 
the whole system. And the way that they'll be able to do that effortlessly is if they do away with cash completely and they make it digital, but taking it beyond just making cash digital, taking it beyond just setting up a CBDC system, they want to actually put things inside of humans that attaches everything to it, that attaches your identity, that attaches uh, your, your money, that attaches all of your records, all right, that connects you all right, to a one world centralized system. And if you act uh, in accordance to what they are telling you, then you will be rewarded by allow, being allowed to continue on the system. But if you go against the grain and you're being rebellious, you're being disobedient, then they can shut you off at any moment, having the power to do so because they control and own the technology. All right, even when these particular devices are put inside of people, you don't own that device, all right? They're allowing you to use that device. So that means that you are their possession now. All right, you are their possession. All right, uh, uh, that chip is, is, is uh, um, how can you say it? You know, I want to say collateral. But anyways, they can recall that thing whenever they want, like the movie Total Recall. But then you have all of these other films that kind of gives you a glimpse of how it's going to work. All right, in regards to the movie Upgrade. All right, and many other movies that are out there that shows you how this particular technology can be dangerous when it's put inside of you because it's not owned by you and it also can be controlled by them. So anyways, the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and going to the 16th verse, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you can see that a system is coming in which in order to buy and sell, you're going to need a mark. So that mark is going to be something physical. It's not going to be Christianity. It's not going to be white women. It's not going to be any of those forms of philosophy that you were presented by, by your leaders. It's going to be something that, that's physical. And the proof is in this. All right, how many articles or how many videos are, must be attached and shown in videos for you to actually finally see it? Which you have some people that are coming around, but they're putting out nonsense like, yeah, you can take it and repent from it, which is bogus. And that's the reason why the scriptures say, let the blind lead the blind and they both shall fall in the ditch. All right, the best thing for you to do as a believer, someone that's within the faith, that believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is to totally resist this man in his system. Resist it in every single aspect and trust in the saving power of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. This is an article that comes from Weon, all right, that's uh, W I O N, and this is a news platform which was published all right, December 1st, 2022. And it says, Elon Musk, our neural link will begin brain C-hip transplant humans trials in six months. Now, what we know concerning this man is that um, in 2019, he was preparing to do it in 2020. All right, which eventually got pushed back six months. Keep getting pushed back six months. Why is it six months? All right, what are you waiting for? All right, which we understand that this man just bought Twitter. All right, one of his goals and his dreams is to create a, a, a platform that's similar to uh, the China, I believe that's called WeChat, all right, which people can use. They, they interact with each other like social media, but it also allows you to connect your bank account. It also allows you to buy and sell and make purchases. So is this something that he's waiting on? All right, to for, uh, finally put together uh, uh, that system and then enjoin it, 
all right, with that particular interface, all right, which ultimately they push this in the regards of, you know, performing miracles or being able to perform miracles. And doesn't the scripture say that, that they're going to deceive you by their miracles? All right, which really this whole system is really to X out the Messiah. All right, because in this system, they promise that you have the ability to walk. They promise that if you're injured and you're suffering paralysis, you'll be able to have the ability to control robotics, you know, and to connect to, you know, particular, you know, interfaces that will give you back your mobility. All right, but then there's another side to it as well, which they're saying that they're going to, uh, the system will allow the human brain to connect to artificial intelligence. So there's a major, a major uh, um, issue or something that they're trying to get over. And they, they say that that's ethics. All right. And ethics covers a, a range of variety of different ethical things, you know, uh, of, of why it will be ethical to put a particular device like this within are the human beings. All right, uh, um, it being able to be hackable. All right, uh, uh, who owns it? You know, uh, who does that that device belong to? All right, if it's put inside of the person, does the person own it? Does the company own it? Which they they know. All right, and many other things in regards to ethics. But anyways, reading going within this article, it says billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk said on Wednesday that wireless devices made by his, his brain C-hip company, Neuralink, will likely begin human trials in six months' time. Neuralink is developing uh, brain C-hip interfaces, which it claims will enable disabled patients to communicate and move. So people that can't speak, they'll be able to talk. I know that on a particular platform he had mentioned uh, it was asked to him how long before humans don't have to talk anymore uh, basically saying that you will communicate with each other through the brain c hip all right so it will be like a um being telepathic being able to read each other's minds but really it's because your thoughts are being uploaded all right um Reading on, it says a uh, neural link has been conducting trials on animals while seeking approval for clinical trials in humans. We want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. But we've submitted, I think, most of our paperwork to the FDA and probably in about six months, we should be able to upload Neuralink in a human, Musk said during a much-awaited public update on the device. All right? So you take this device, all right, your ass going to be going in circles, all right, like like those uh, uh, sheep in that the video that we've been seeing, all right, because this is the kind of control that eats <laughs> them wants to have over you he wants to be like the heavenly father all right i believe that that's um a, a, something divine that's happening all right in, in particular with those sheep but that's the kind of control that esau edom wants to have over you um a good movie to watch or a tv series i believe is called um Matter of fact, Baba Kashat, bear with me. All right, because it's on uh, Apple. For those of you that may have Apple TV, bear with me, Baba Kashat. And I'm going to give you the name of it. It's called Severance, all right? 
And uh, basically, severance is dealing with um, is dealing with uh, people having the MOTB. So, at work, they don't remember their lives outside of work, and that their lives outside of work, they don't remember the work that they do. So, could this possibly be something? That's done to people when they go to work. They don't remember the work they do when they're at home. They don't, you know, I'm sorry. When they go to work, they don't remember their lives outside of work. You know, really, the severance is 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 that. So they'll be able to control you. They'll be able to erase memories. They'll be able to uh, upload memories. They'll be able to erase your belief. And Yahweh by Shimei was shy. If you take it, so you got these individuals talking about, yeah, you can take it and repent. Well, what if you take it, and they totally erase your idea of being an Israelite to the point where you don't remember anything about the scriptures. You don't remember the name of Yahweh. You don't remember the name of Yahweh shy. You don't remember. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You don't remember, you know, um, any of the history or the knowledge, none of the breakdowns. All right, what if you don't remember anything? And what if that's their goal? All right, to put it inside of you and cause you to totally forget about the scriptures and be in a state where you're totally subservient unto the new world order. All right, the system that they have set up and you're completely devoted unto them. Reading on in this article, Mus is known for lofty goals such as colonizing Mars and saving humanity. His ambition for Neuralink, which he launched in 2016, are on the same grand scale. He wants to develop a C-hip that will allow the brain to control complex electronic devices and eventually allow people with paralysis to regain motor functions and treat brain diseases such as Parkinson's, dementia, and Alzheimer's. He also talks of melding the brain with artificial intelligence. Now, Artificial intelligence is basically like complex algorithms all right, within a, 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 a computer. So what does is, what is artificial intelligence do? You know, it thinks for you. You know, it, it, it searches things for you. So imagine having that within your, your brain. All right, artificial intelligence corrects your spelling. You know, on your phone, or it, it, it uh, supposedly helps and enhances particular devices, particular uh, computer programs. So it, it's a computer program that's put inside of your mind. So what, what will happen if that artificial intelligence is put in a C-hip and put in your mind? It will totally take control over you. So really, you wouldn't be yourself anymore. You'll just be a, um, a, a pawn all right, in the hands of those that are the elites of this world. The book of uh, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter in the eighth verse, and then shall the wicked be revealed whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders. So this is a, a, a sign and a lying wonder because they're pushing this as if this is ultimately a miracle. But really, it's pseudoscience. So pseudos means a lie so it's false 
it's false science. Okay? Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie, that they might all be dim who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So through their technology, all right, this is one of the ways that they're going to deceive are the people. The book of Revelation, the 19th chapter, in verse 20, and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which deceived them that had received the MOTB, and them that worship his image, these both were cast alive out of the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And for the people that won't receive this and will not also bow down and worship the image of the beast, they can easily be shut out. That's one of the major things that this system is going to do. It's going to completely shut them out. But all of those that enjoy themselves all right, and, and decide to receive it, they're going to be deceived by the miracles, all right, by that pseudo, pseudo uh, science to eventually receive this MOTB. All of the things that they're promised that they'll be able to do in regards to learning things without actually reading, in regards to uh, uh, being smarter, more intelligent for those that are that are not sick, because I spoke about ethics earlier. See, it's more ethical to uh, push something like this on the world if you can first get it through the door as a means of helping someone that's hurt. All right. Helping someone that, that has a disability. Helping someone that's that's uh, uh, sickly. But then what about the people that are just augmenting themselves? What about the people that just decide that they want to be able to start their car without, you know, putting the key in it? For, for those people that want to be able to unlock a door without touching it, pay for gas or pay for food or pay for groceries without having a credit card. Or have their identity check without having an ID card on them. So people that are totally healthy, all right, one of the ways that they're going to get it through the door first is by saying that it helps those that are that are hurt. But then they're going to bring it to everybody else. All right, as a, as a form of you have to get it in order to be a part of the system. Otherwise, you're going to be shut out. And those that are weak minded are going to consent unto this devil. They're going to conform. They're going to accept it. All right, but those that that believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh they're going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh until the end. All right, everyone that receives this is going to be destroyed. All right, this whole system and this in this this the countries that are pushing it. All right, which mainly. You know, it's going to be pushed all around the world. But the countries that are mainly going to be destroyed are these Edomite countries. All right. According to the scriptures. All right. This this beast system, this whore, all of them are coming down. All right. The beast, they're coming down and they're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh through the chariots and thermonuclear destruction. And everyone that received the MOTB, they're going to be destroyed according to the scriptures. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying on praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. I know if brothers have been uh, doing videos on, on the situation with Elon, but I came across that article, you know, and I wanted to mention that as well. Oh, and um, 
before I fully close out, you have um, another company called Synch- Synchron, which they already in two- 2021, you know, they completed, you know, um, putting, you know, the C hip inside of a human within the United States. So Elon is is behind on on the game. All right. And I believe that he wanted to join up with us, uh, uh, Synchron, you know, to be able to, you know, um, go ahead and move ahead with his agenda. All right. But all of this is, is lining up with the timeline and the deadline that they really want to make a change to the monetary system. All right. And take control of the world. And this is one of the ways that they're going to take control by implementing the MOTB. All right. But as soon as they implement it, hey, look, it's going to go down. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to bring them down to the ground because that's the last and final prophecy before the great destruction. All right. In the day of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. A, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. A Kwam Bakayam and a Baba Boy. Shalom. are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. Now, how exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Now, why is data so important? It's important because we've reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. 